So, hi, I just wanted to do a quick little video about a super basic Emacs config. Uh, I think a lot of people just get caught up in Emacs of like, do Emacs, space Emacs. And that's all fine, of course, that if that's what you want to do and you, you want all of that, uh, that, that's fine. But I've got my own config that I've built up over a couple of years. I've had a couple of Emacs config bankruptcies, I have to admit. But... Uh, now I've got an alternative one when I want to show someone without any of my other stuff, which obviously is very attuned to me. Um, so if I want to show someone something in Emacs without them being bothered by my personal theme and you know stuff that isn't normally in Emacs, maybe that's only my stuff. So um, I thought I'd show you that. Uh, so let's just make this super super big. Um, so you can see what's going on. Um, so I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start Emacs. I'm going to start Emacs minus Q. Uh, that means with no config. And then um, I'm really bad at typing today. Uh, so forgive me for that. I keep my config here, and then I've got this very simple uh, thing. So as you can see, there is some um, colours. Uh, it's mostly black and white. Uh, the screen, but uh, you can see that it has got colors in it. Let's go look at a file. Let's go look at um, that Emacs file. So it's all very simple in it. Um, and you can see that this is the sort of uh, color that you're going to get. Um, these are comments. Um, so this is all thanks to this Manage Dark theme. Um, but let's go through these things. These are just the, the utter basics that I turn on by default uh, that really help. So I don't turn much off, um, but these are the basics that I do turn on. So show power in mode is what's doing this highlighting on the parentheses, on the, on the curved brackets. Um, lots of people don't know that parentheses means these round brackets. Most people call them round brackets, don't they? Um, anyway, it's doing that highlighting so you, that you can see. Um, electric pair mode means that when you highlight, sorry, not when you highlight, when you insert one of these things, like a, a RN or a bracket, um, it inserts the matching pair. And it's mode dependent. So um, what's interesting is in Emacs, if you try and insert a brace, this is a Emacs Lisp file. Um, we insert a brace, we don't get the matching pair. Why not? Because uh, Emacs Lisp doesn't really deal with braces. If we go and open a, um, a dummy.js file and we try and insert a brace, we'll see that it does then. So electric pair mode is context dependent. Um, on on what mode you're using and then this changes uh all tabs to spaces and uh, we can do all the jokes that silicon valley did but um i find that spaces are just better for when you do a diff between two versions of a file spaces tend to be better these days lots of those programs can ignore white space so even that isn't a big deal but um hey and this global display line numbers turns on line number mode. And of course, you might not want line numbers absolutely everywhere. As like, if you have an org file or a markdown file, do you want line numbers? I'm not sure. Um, but by default, for this very simple config, I do that. I don't actually do this in my Emacs config. I turn on line numbers contextually in the programming modes and things like that, but that's a bit too much. Um, and then we have uh, the theme, which is this, why the colors? Uh, so this theme, it's managed dark. It's shipped with Emacs, um, or it is currently, I guess those things wax and wane, but um, this is the best one I could find of what is shipped with Emacs. I don't use it personally. Um, I use something else, but that one is, you know, an extension that most people wouldn't have if they just started up Emacs. Um, and then there's this tree sitter stuff, and this really, most people wouldn't have this. Um, but 
if I'm showing something about a programming thing in Emacs, then I want the three set of grammars. If you were uh, programming at all, even with the most minimal config, you would probably set up the tree sitter grammars yourself. Obviously, it's obvious, hopefully, to almost anyone that, that this stuff is relevant to me and wouldn't be relevant, it wouldn't work for anyone else. So hopefully this, this thing speaks sort of for itself. Um, so there you go. That's my super basic Emacs config that I use when I'm showing other people things. Uh, and I don't want my config to get in the way. So there you go. Thanks very much. Uh, I just thought I'd share that.